What's up guys, this is Walid, and today's problem is the balloon problem. So, we have a balloon, and they gave us when it's there's no air in it, what's the mass, what's the volume, and all that stuff. So, I'm just going to get right into the question, I'm going to explain everything as we go. So, what is the volume of the helium in the balloon when it's fully inflated? So, volume... Let's call volume of the balloon, or I'm going to call it helium. Volume of helium is going to be equal to the volume of the of the balloon when it's inflated, which is the volume of a sphere, pi r cubed. And this question r was 4.6. So 4 divided by 3 pi. 4.6 to the cubed and for this one I got VH is equal to 407.72 meter cubed cool what is the magnitude of the force of gravity on the entire system with no people include the mass of the balloon basket and helium so let's include all the masses so mass of basket plus now we're going to get the mass of the helium so mass of the helium is going to be equal to the density of the helium times the volume of the helium okay and then this is times g so now this is the force cool so mass of the balloon is going to be 1 to 4 kilograms plus now the density of the helium is going to be 0.18 and those are all given in the question. Volume of the helium which is the one we got in here 4.07.72 the whole thing times 9.8 that's not an 8, 8 one. All right. And for this guy, I got 1936.39 Newton. Cool. What is the magnitude of the buoyant force on the entire system? So now they want the buoyant force. And the buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid, whether it's air or whether it's water. Okay. So force buoyant is going to be equal to V H volume of the helium plus the volume of the basket times G times the density of the air because whatever volume the helium and the volume of the basket is gonna take it's gonna like push air so the buoyant force is equal to the air that it displaced Okay, so for this case, VH was 4.07.72 plus 0 0.072. Now they gave us in the question, where was it? This guy, and then times 9.81 times the density of the air. So for this guy, I got. 5120.56 okay Newton now what is the magnitude of the force of gravity on each person so the force is going to be equal to m g is equal to the mass of each person which is 71 for my case times 9.81 cool and for this one I got 696.5 one Newton. What's the magnitude of the buoyant force? Buoyant force, remember, it's the weight displaced by the material. Okay, so in this case, the volume of the people or the person, okay, times g times what times the density of the air. So the volume of the person 
which is 0 0.078 times 9.81 times 1.28 is going to be equal to 0.9794 Newton. All right, so how many people can the balloon lift up? So there is like kind of two approaches for this or two solutions. One is accurate, one is accurate, but it works in this case. Not accurate and works in this case anyway. So the not accurate way that, you know, works for this problem is going to be, um, you're going to, um, so the buoyant force, buoyant force, so the buoyant force of the um, of the air, which which we got in number number three, okay, minus what we got in number two, which is the force going down, um, force weight divided by what divided by the force of each person which is six nine six point five one newton and then for this one i got almost four point five and some decimals okay so they want an integer because you can't have like half person be on top of this so the answer is going to be four people that you can have but that's not really accurate um the way i approach this but here's the full way to look at it. So, the density of the air times G times VB plus VH plus N V person. This N is the number of the um, people that can be on top, okay? So the buoyant force, this is the buoyant force of the total thing is going to be equal to the force of gravity of the whole thing, okay? So the, the full force is going to be equal to the mass of the basket and the, like the balloon, the whole thing plus the mass of the helium plus n times the mass of the people or the person times g so now we cancel g's out and then we basically just solve for it so 1.28 the air density and then the balloon was 4.07.7 that's the volume of the helium. Actually, vo volume of the helium is a 4.07. 0.72 is the volume of the balloon. Plus N. 0.078. Then we close this and then we add the masses. 7, 3.38 plus 1, 2, 8 plus n times 71 okay and then you just solve for n and then n for me I got at the end let me just give you the number 319.62 equal 70.9 n and then n I got 4.5 which is the same thing so n is equal to 4 for people but this is kind of like the um, right approach for this problem cool all right guys hope this helped let me know if you have any questions